Hi everyone, thanks for joining us at Grow Dinner Aquaponics. As you may know, with some of our green friends here, some of them need a little bit more extra attention than others. Here we have some cauliflower, okay? It is close to getting ready to be harvested. You harvest it when it's between 6 to 12 inches in diameter of the head. Also, another thing about cauliflower you need to know is that it is white now, but it will start to brown if it starts to get too much sun. So, what we're going to do is protect the cauliflower with its own leaves. We're going to do that by pulling a couple of the inner leaves close together. And there are several ways to do this. Some people use pantyhose, some people do other things. We, however, are doing a simple technique called the paperclip technique. And all I'm going to do is just kind of pinch these together. Put that around it, which is easier said than done, obviously. And this way, it's going to give the cauliflower some shade. Since we are in a greenhouse, we have got a lot of sun coming through at this time, and it is pretty warm. I'm going to show you in just a second a beautiful tomato plant that we have growing right next to it. So that's just another way of showing you that you can have winter and summer crops growing together in a greenhouse. All right, I'm going to get that attached. And that is how you cover and protect your cauliflower so it can grow bigger and still stay white. Be sure that when you do harvest it, you cut it from the stem and leave a couple of these leaves with it. It will just help protect it until it's ready to eat. Also, this is the tomato plant that I was talking about. It is a summer crop. It is very possible to do the summer and the winter crops together in aquaponics. We are just using a regular gravel bed here and tilapia for our fish. And beside it, I would really like to show you this summer squash. It is growing beautifully. You'll notice large blooms, and also right here in this area, we have a squash that is growing nicely, and we'll be picking it before long. I want to take some time to show you our cabbage as well. You'll notice it's growing beautifully, and we have a head inside here as well, too. Just for some of those to help you, You'll know when this is ready, when it, one, becomes larger, and two, it also firms up. Right now, it's still a little bit soft. You can kind of see it moving. I can feel it, but you can probably see it moving back and forth just a little bit. So it's still very soft. This cabbage head should get between 6 to 10 inches and harden when it's ready to be harvested. Here are some lovely lima bush beans. Yes, they are actually a bush bean. We have double checked the package. They do say bush. However, ours have grown up with a little bit of assistance. We've continued to let them reach to the top to the shade cloth in the greenhouse. You'll notice that we have got some really great pods growing here. Some of these are almost ready to pick. There's a couple of more here for you. And something really nice to Limas is the beautiful blooms that they grow. They are purple in color, small, and just a really beautiful plant. Does give some aesthetics to the garden or to the greenhouse. Over here is our giant Caesar lettuce. Very nice, beautiful in color, and grows great in the aquaponics system. Beside it, we happen to have the red lettuce. Also grows great in an aquaponic system. Over here we have another example of the red lettuce. We're going to take it out for just a moment here and let you see the root system on it. As you can tell, they're nice, white, clean, and clear. This is a very good example of how you'd like your root system to look. So we're going to put this red lettuce back and continue to let it do its thing and grow. So we hope you enjoyed this instructional video on how to protect your cauliflower. Please join us for some of our other videos. Thank you.